If you were uh, around New York in the 1980s and saw Al Sharpton walking around with a suitcase, you might be witnessing a man that had turned informant for the FBI. It turns out that Al Sharpton, now pictured there, uh, back then, dramatically heavier and almost a different person, uh, evidently they caught him in a situation where he was forced either to go to jail, face some charges, or flip and start working for the FBI, use his connections with the underworld to unearth some connections for the FBI. Yeah, apparently uh, the FBI caught him in a, he was uh, involved with some drug kingpins and it was a big coke deal and they caught him and they said, Al, you're going to be in big trouble and, unless you help us. So start recording these people. Apparently, according to the smoking gun, uh, he taped mobsters with that briefcase. He helped the feds bring down uh, members of the Genovese crime family. Now, Al himself says, uh, yeah, I probably helped him, but they never told me I was a criminal uh, or any sort of a mob informant or anything like that. Here's Al himself. They came in 1982, 83, after Don King and tried to entrap me in a drug deal that didn't work. Then seven months later, when I was threatened by members of the mob because I was saying that a lot of concerts should be going to black artists and I went after them, and uh, I was threatened. I called these FBI guys back, since some of the guys were from California, and told them these are the kinds of things that ought to be investigated. Right, so he's saying there that the authorities should investigate the mob, trying to squeeze uh, black concert promoters, and said that the, the relationship, according to him, went no further than that, an attempt to discredit him. He did said. it for four years. He was CI7. Yeah, yes. uh, for confidential informant number seven. It's interesting. Apparently, they worked uh, him until he became Tawana Brawley's uh, special advisor. Remember, she's the one who falsely accused about a half a dozen uh, white uh, men of raping her. Uh, they were all exonerated. Turns out she made up the story. Al Sharpton, to the best of my knowledge, who was her advisor, never apologized to those men whose lives they destroyed. Mm. I'm not sure. He's got a show on. Maybe he apologized at some point because we weren't watching the show. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Nobody uh, watches that show. I'm not sure. <laughs> Heather Now, we watch her. Hey, you sure do. Good, good morning, morning you. guys. You can't make this stuff up, can you? You can't. No, oh boy. Nobody oh. would believe it. Right. Al Sharpton, a mob snitch? Come on. What a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've got some